pay attention. Creepy weirdo. I would like a strong, powerful woman to protect me. Mm-hmm. He'll fight for America. Yep. Poopy Square. The Playable Characters Podcast. Bum ba bum 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 Playable Character Podcast. Boom. That was Ooh. brand new. We just started that. I like that. Do you like that? I know. It I, felt good. I'm going to try to do something different every time, which we have. By yeah, I know. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> by <almost accident. laughs> Level 120, guys. 121 gigawatts. Holy shit balls. Yeah. That's a lot of episodes we've done. Yes, and, we have. And uh, probably 100 too many. No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, me neither. Um, 252 few. Yeah. Yes. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> shout out to one of our guys, uh, Derek Weston. What's up, man? The other day, it was a few weeks ago, I was just like... Uh, we're going to start charging $100 per episode as a joke. And he goes, worth it. I was like, you know what? You make me happy. Aww. That's what it's all about. Yay. Having fans. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, we're doing a Long Island Retro Expo very soon. Yes. August 10th. Come check it out. It's going to be great. Um, also, um, super huge thanks. I forgot to say. No, because I, I forgot to give a shout out to uh, Ryan Shapiro. Um, Yep. Right, Long Island Retro Expo. So I did it. Long like. Island Retro Expo. I had a stroke. Yes. Um, <laughs> oh, you came to one of your shows. Yes. I, uh, so I did like a mini pride tour and uh, uh, Ryan lives in Richmond, Virginia now, which I found out because he came to the show. Yeah. So Ryan, thank you so much and we're looking forward to seeing you in August. Yeah. Please buy tickets to the Long Island Retro Expo. I will say that correctly it's one a, day. It's with a great event. Friend. Oh, by the way, this is a Playable Characters podcast. Yes. I'm Brian. Well, no, we said that. I don't think we did even. Oh, yeah, we're very, at the very <laughs> We had a little operatic thing about it. Oh, real quick. My friend uh, Dave does this. He, he made, if, you, if you guys are Twitch people out there, this is this little plug. Um, if you view or are a Twitch streamer, go to streamstickers.com. He made these things, and it's actually pretty cool. Um, I don't, I'm so clueless what it is, really. You can, you can like, put stickers on people's stream, and yeah, there you go, whatever. I just wanted to plug out. So streamstickers.com if you're a Twitcher. Yes. Is, is that what you call it? Twitcher? <laughs> oh, also one more thing. Okay. Uh, Jesus. <laughs> make sure that you um, check out our Patreon. Pluggable um, Characters. Yes. <laughs> Pluggable Characters Podcast. <laughs> Sponsored by Squarespace. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, please, uh, we have a Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com slash Playable Characters Podcast. Mm-hmm. Please, uh, you know, give us money so that we can, you know, do nice things and go to Ibiza. Yeah. I lost my job a few weeks ago, so... Yeah. Give us some money. That's true. Yeah. I have a day job, but not anymore. Yeah. It's all good. It's fine. It's fine. Well, you should consider unemployment. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not going to. It's free money, man. Yeah. Well, it's not free money. You pay into it. Yeah, whatever. It's fine. Um, We're in a socialist country. The point is. Yo, speaking of which. (laughs) Even socialism and unemployment, actually. Yeah. So this guy, okay, was almost in one of the biggest games in the world. The new one just came out a few months ago. Um, Mortal Kombat. Yes. So we all know. When the Toasty guy came on, that was like the weirdest, funniest, what the hell was that moment in every arcade. Yes. Um, but the guy we have today, um, I'm not going to say he tricked us into getting booked here because he told us that he was like that guy, but he's he was the guy that almost got that job. Uh-huh. Um, he didn't tell us his name yet, but let's bring him in. Hey, sir, how are you? Hey, how, how are you? How are you? Hey, guys, what's up? What's going on? Hey, what, what's, what's your, your name? name? First Feeling good. What's oh, your name? Uh, Devin uh, Portnow. <laughs> Devin Port now? Yeah. Hey, Devin. Hey. Nice. So, Thanks for having me. No problem. I'm no happy problem. to finally tell my story. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's, uh, I hope it's interesting. I mean, we. Uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> me, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so Toasty is, uh, was, so uh, are you an actor, I guess, or had this, tell you me know, the story. You know, I, I do a little bit of everything. I do, uh, I, my, my dream was to become like the next Michael Buffer, yeah. you know, and just. Oh, right, sure. Right, but I could never come up with a hot catchphrase. Yeah, let's get ready to rumble. It's yeah, good, I was one. like, let's get ready to fumble. And that it's was close. when I used yeah. to announce high school football games. <laughs> and I would just get tackled by the entire home team. Yeah, that's... Which was very weird. Yeah. But, um, yeah, so I have, uh, you know, announcing and acting. Okay. And, uh, you know, I've hosted some talent shows. <laughs> oh, okay. It's weird. Where are these talent shows? Like in the high school auditorium? or uh, All over the place. <laughs> wherever they'll have me. Yeah, okay. Okay. Is there a traveling uh, talent show circuit? I didn't know that. Yeah, neither. <laughs> you know, it's not a big uh, scene, okay. so if you're good at it, you get a lot of work. Oh, okay. Because they're the kind of, of desperate for people like that. Yeah. Isn't the point of a talent show that most of them are not good at it? Well, the talent shows themselves are terrible, yeah. but okay. the host is kind of what holds <laughs> them together. So people come to see you, you think? I think so. Okay. You know. Yeah. You always hear like uh, you know like Jerry Seinfeld did his talent show in eighth grade or yeah. something like that. You always hear, yeah, or like Star Search. Yeah, like. well, that's a little, that's like a national. That's a little different. Mm. Like a real local talent show is usually pretty bad. 
Yeah. It's like yeah. a kid bouncing a broom on his handle. Or yeah. a broom <laughs> handle on his handle. I'm, okay. I'm talking super local guys. Yeah. A couple underground talent shows, oh, if yeah? you catch my oh. drift. Oh. oh. Yeah. Like Which, what, what are some of the things they do there? To, uh, that, that can't be above ground. You know, it's just like some dark magic that's really not uh, being released to the public oh, at shit. this time. I want to see that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. Um, Put you that know. on pay per view. <laughs> Let us know where, where, where you'll be next. Yeah, so. I'll give you my cards yeah. after the show. <laughs> cards? You have, you have Your cards have your tour dates on them? <laughs> <laughs> my tour dates. I've got a website. And, um, yeah, things are, uh, you know, going good after that little hiccup, you know. Yeah, tell us about what happened. The whole Mortal Kombat yeah. thing. Yeah. What, what happened there? So, uh, so, you know, I have an agent, obviously. Nice. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, uh, yeah, of course. They send me out on all sorts of auditions and things. And uh, they sent me out for uh, Mortal Kombat, but I didn't know it was Mortal Kombat. Right. Why would you? I had no new. idea. Like, based on what they were describing, they were mm. like, we just need a guy to pop up and say something that sounds sort of cooking related. <laughs> and I thought it was a cooking show. For sure. So I'm yelling out, you know, uh, roasted and <laughs> boiled and oh, okay. that's a spicy meatball. Oh. And. <laughs> For, and they're like, no, 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 no. Let's show you what we want you to be yelling stuff over. Oh, so, okay. so they brought out some of the fighters. Mm. It was one of the, not Reptile, but one of the other ones. Sure, Sub-Zero? No. Scorpion? Yeah, Scorpion. That's what it was. You think the fact that you didn't know was a problem? Because <laughs> I feel like with most job interviews, you have to kind of know. I, You know, apparently there's some like disclosure thing with the Mortal Kombat people where it's so secretive they don't actually want people to know what they're getting into. Did you see that God of War documentary they made? No, I did uh, not. A few months ago? It was awesome, by the way. But the the kid and the guy who does Kratos, when they came in, they had no idea what it was. And Really? Until, Kevin like, Michael Richardson didn't know? Until No, they're like, this isn't a video. Like, it was a, a game, but they didn't know. They're like, no, this is a movie. This is wrong. Wow. Because the script was, you know how the script is. It's amazing. So yeah. they, they couldn't believe it was actually in it. That's so funny. I'm, also, I'm more surprised because Kevin Michael Richardson's like pretty up there. Yeah, but. It was too, super top secret. So damn. Yeah, for, for the audition, they didn't know. Yeah. Obviously, Alpha, we're ignoring our guests right now. No, I just wanted to, it. It, 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 it kind of fits. <laughs> Sorry, uh, well, Devin. just so you know, I'm authentic. <laughs> yeah, I'm Sorry, not Devin. just making this up. Uh, yeah, 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 I'm exactly. not just you know. I don't just need the press. Like, yeah. oh God, get me on this podcast just or give something. It, just giving some uh, some. Yeah. Context. yeah, thank you. I, I appreciate <laughs> no that. Problems. A lot of people have tried to silence me over the years. Yes, yeah, like Calvin here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> God. So, so they brought in Scorpion. Yeah, well, yeah. There was a Scorpion guy and uh, <laughs> the yellow one, a, the, the one who has like four arms. Goro. Oh, Goro. Yeah, Goro. Wait, wait, he was there. It was somebody wearing a Goro suit. I don't know. Did it was, scare you? That would be no, it didn't scare yeah. me at all oh, until okay. they started fighting. <laughs> you didn't know they were gonna fight. And then they were like, "Okay," and I'm like, "How am I supposed to know what to react?" You and still thought they were gonna cook. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and it's weird because when they prep you for things like. Their entire staff is just sort of these like undead, cursed former fighter type people. Yeah, oh, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's weird. Right. But you don't realize it. And then, mm. you know, I asked them, like, oh, hey, how, how many other people are you seeing? And they just sort of take this weird, deep breath <laughs> and float away <laughs> and don't actually answer your question. That's rude. Very rude. <laughs> So I get, um, they start fighting, and uh, and I don't know when to chime in. And then uh, one guy just, you know, rips out the other guy's spine oh, God. and oh. impales him to death. This was during mm-hmm. the audition? And then I have an earpiece, and somebody yells, fatality, do it. And oh. I'm like, do what? And he yelled a thing. And I was just horrified, yeah. and I just went, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> And they said, no, thank you. That's not what we wanted. Aww, I, would have, I would have loved that if someone pops out. Yeah. <laughs> said, oh, my God. <laughs> Every time something bad happened. Wow. And then the the um, the guy who ultimately gets the role, you know, uh, yeah. Dan whatever is right. his name. He's got like a mini documentary about himself <laughs> on YouTube. Who doesn't? <laughs> exactly. And uh, so he was just, you know, chilling, watching the whole thing. And he points at me and he goes, Toasty, uh, and I go, excuse me, and then one of the undead people, you know, came and just whisked him over, mm. and they made him say that. Did and they really it, just like whisk him away? Yeah, That's but he's got the job for life. Yeah. But apparently, he's you know he can't leave. So. Yeah. Oh. Okay. On the plus side, uh, I am able to go. You know, still continue to host talent shows. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a plus. Do other things, and then I um. 
So after that, I, I was motivated. Sure. Mm-hmm. I wanted, I was like, I'd be good for this, but I just, I need to know that it's a fighting game. Right. Where the, that's fair. Right. Yeah. The, where the fighters brutally murder each other yeah. at the oh, end. Yeah, totally fine. And uh, I'm supposed to say some wacky catchphrase right. after, um, you know, a big move, which, you know, again, no prep, no prep whatsoever. Mm-hmm. I fired my agent. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And um, so you book these talent shows by yourself? Yes, I do. <laughs> so, so then next, I tried to uh, audition to do the same thing for Tekken. You guys know the Tekken? Oh, game? of course, yes, a little very bit. much. Yeah, but um, they do a lot of their own talking in that game, right. and there's yeah. too much story involved. I think there's actually enough story. Well, I like story in, in yeah. fighting games. It gives yeah. you context for who I'm hitting. They don't care that much. Like it's, even the Mortal Kombat one is so. Yeah, I mean, Mortal Kombat, they play fast and loose. And yeah. I, I like, I need a strong continuity. Okay. But like, Mortal Kombat is, well, no, they're better. Did you play it. 11 yet, even? I didn't even know. You I didn't fucking. I gave it to you months ago. I haven't had time. You played Celeste. You beat Celeste. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right, <laughs> That's right. why I didn't have time. Okay. Crazy that there's been 11 games and they still haven't come up with something else for the Toasty guy to say. I don't even think he's in yeah. the new one, is he? No, he's not. Oh, I think they murdered him. Off <laughs> yeah. He's they, gone. Damn. He's moved on to so other things. So good thing you didn't get it. Like, but yeah. Hindsight. Well, oh, yeah. No, yeah, I, yeah, I feel me. very blessed. <laughs> To yeah. uh, have not gotten it, yeah. you know, had I gotten it, who knows where I'd be right now? Yeah, you're okay. like maybe dead. Have yeah. you ever like um, tried for like Street Fighter or any of the like you know Marvel vs. Capcom? Well, tell us a Tekken story. What, what yeah. else was? Yeah. Oh, so the Tekken. I just there was never a moment in a in a Tekken fight where I was able to, to yell anything, yeah. and uh, you know I tried saying, um, "Boom, there it is." <laughs> After a big mitt hit, and they were just like, no, sorry, you just, you don't get this. So I was out. Then, yeah, I did try uh, Marvel versus Capcom, mm-hmm. and, um, you know, I just kept getting too excited about some of the Marvel characters. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> so I was too excited. I was like, oh, my God, Spider-Man's yeah, here. Man. <laughs> like, That's not what you're supposed to say. I would love that even more if someone popped out of the corner and was excited about the game in the game. Yeah, seriously. That would be great. That would be. Yeah. Wow, Wolverine. Right? That's, that's, <laughs> But he would just get distracted and then get his ass kicked by, you know, M. Bison or whoever okay. he was fighting at the time. Yeah. Or Mega Man. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, Chun-Li would distract me, I just realized. Yeah, yeah, you'd be like, oh my god! Yeah. yeah. Then I, um, so then I figured fighting games weren't for me, so then mm-hmm. I, I tried out for one of those, like, you know, remember Cruisin' World? Cruisin oh, yeah. USA? <laughs> sure. Yeah, so uh, I I tried to be the person that pops up at the end and celebrates yeah. Yeah. with the the racer, but they were like, no, 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 we want a girl in a bikini, and I was like, but come on. Did you try that? No, okay. I didn't. But again, I I just I was just yelling congratulations. Right. I mean, simple yeah. enough. Wow, this is amazing. I've never met a real life rate again. Just, they were just <laughs> no, we don't want you. This isn't what we want. You're too hopeful and optimistic. Yeah. We want sexy. I'm like, this is sexy. This yeah, is positivity. Yeah. Every racing game when you've won, there was a girl in a bikini giving you a trophy. Yeah, I feel yeah, like, like yeah. yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're super off I had that as a kid for the Super Nintendo. And it was just like, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Look at that girl. Look at that eight bit girl in a bikini. <laughs> yeah. And then some of them, I would just go, all right. Nothing, and just huh? like jump and yeah. try to freeze in air. Can yeah. you do that? I, when I was younger, I've kind of lost the ability to freeze. <laughs> it's hard in air. It's, it's, get the older, older you get, your back, just, yeah, my legs. Yeah, yeah. they just it, it feels Gravity. like my it feels like my legs are heavier now than they used to be. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, but had I continued on with Mortal Kombat, I bet they would give me some sort of you know magical power mm. or ability to yeah. hold and freeze. Or Sub Zero could yeah. help you with that. Sub Zero, yeah. um, or freeze, Sindel, yeah. freeze oh, your sure. hair. I never really dabbled too much with the uh, the Street Fighter guys. Mm-hmm. You know, they were always a little intense. You know, Ryu. Yeah. And uh, one of the other ones that does that, like, uppercut, where they kind of stay in air for a little bit. You know like, what I'm talking like, about. Like Ken? Ken. Ken. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I trained with his guy, with oh. his uppercut guy. Oh, really? For a couple. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was going to be my thing. I was going to go, all right, and then do an uppercut <laughs> to the losing racer in oh. uh, Cruising World. Oof. Yeah, Damn. that's probably too violent for yeah. them. Maybe. Yeah. Also, the fact that none of the racers ever got out of the car. Yeah. So I couldn't really uppercut a car. So I. Well, actually, speaking of Street Fighter, you could uppercut a car technically. <laughs> the bonus round. Yeah. We had that guy on the podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's not too happy. Ironically, he had a good catchphrase, which was "Oh my car." We catch so up. that kind of could have been like that was his catchphrase. Yeah. Oh, that's genius. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe if you try, well. If you go back in time to 2000 and then try out for cruising, it's, we'll... it's nice you've tried new, th- you, you you've tried different things at least. So that's good. So that, that's what you got to do with auditions. You know, you gotta 
you got to give them something that they're not expecting. It hasn't worked for you, but no. you know, keep going. I wish that they would uh, remake NBA Jam. Oh, don't we all? Dude, because I have so many catchphrases for that. Yeah? That would be perfect. Let us hear some. You know, like, uh, a, a rock a <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> and when, when basketball. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a given. <laughs> and uh, he's running away with the title. Yeah, okay. LeBron. <laughs> Just yell out LeBron, even yeah. if it's not LeBron. Sure, that's what you have to do. Yeah, yeah you totally. Know. So uh, I had a lot of good ones, but, you know. It's funny just to keep yelling LeBron, <laughs> no matter what, no matter who, what teams are playing. Actually, Le- you know, even funny. I, I love the idea, like, if they made another Shaq Fu, and you just, like, jumped in and yelled LeBron. <laughs> was Shaq Fu a video game, or was that? Shaq Fu was oh, an yeah. actual video game where sh- uh, it was a fighting game with Shaquille O'Neal. And they just redid it recently. Uh, yeah, they le- just redid it. Less than a year ago. Yeah, Shaq. I want to be Shaq's hype man. Um, yeah. I think that's what I'm going to try to our, That's our friend Adam Glinton. He does that. <laughs> yeah. For real. <laughs> like, like, well, Shaq has his hands like in so ones. many things. You know, he's he trying sure to. Does. He He had Shaq soda briefly. I could have been a pitch man for that. Sprite? It's Ooh, well, Shaq-tastic. Well, <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, but uh, I think that already went under. And then, uh, you know, he's got the. The insurance that he's always pushing, right? The, yeah, he, yeah. yeah. Like, he likes Buicks, apparently. He has little, little three work. rap albums. Three rap oh, albums. He's got more than that. No, he rapped, he, he opened up the NBA awards last month by rapping. No, and like, stop uh, it. And like, he's, and it's just him going a shack, a shack, <laughs> a shack, 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 <laughs> shack attack. You're gonna get shacked. <laughs> And, and it like, doesn't matter. Because, yeah. like, what are you going to say? Shaq, this sucks? No, you can't. That's yeah. why he needs a hype guy. That's because it's so easy. Yeah. Everything he does, people are just going to go along with. They kind of have no choice. Yeah. yeah. And you're a tiny fella. I think you as a half Shaq size would be perfect. Oh, you're I more s- like a third Shaq size. <laughs> yeah, he's about, you're about three foot five. I didn't even notice. Maybe a came. leg. Yeah. <laughs> At when you, best. When you came half a leg. So, um, wow. This is so crazy that you tried out for all this stuff. and. Did you did you end up booking any of them like eventually? Did you? No, I didn't come <laughs> okay. close on any of them. Really? In fact, not even a callback. I constantly call many video game companies yeah. and they don't even respond. They won't take your call. No, nothing. I um, can help you out there. You probably can't. But it's <laughs> uh. it's gotten so bad now that uh, what I do on the side uh, for a little extra money is I kind of do the toasty thing, but for like rap battles. Hmm. Um, <laughs> But here's the thing: no one can see me. You know, you can't. It's not like you can just pop up on stage and be like, "A roasted, finished, right, you're, probably, <laughs> you're done." You, like they, you might get shot or hit. Like, yeah, and you know. like so, and they give me a mic, and they don't even turn it on. Oh, it's like when you give your little brother the second controller. <laughs> Kinda. Yeah. You don't plug it in. Yeah. <laughs> so, but they give me like fifty dollars a night to come and just try to yell things. Where are these rap battles you're going to? Comedy shows all over the place. Yeah. Roast battles might yeah. be the new thing. <laughs> oh yeah, that's those, that I have big. to get into. I hear that's. A, when are we going to see a roast battle video game? Is what I want to know. There's probably some VR thing in the works. Oh god, yeah. there was so a comedy. Th- there was a stand-up comedy VR game. I I think on no. Steam. Or something. Oh, I know. Yeah. It sounded terrible. Yeah, I don't know. There was also a stand-up comedy like eight-bit game. It was like a one of those weird point-and-click adventures. Really? Yes. Like leisure suit comedy, Larry. Yeah, it was real bad. Comedy suit, Larry. Like I think I ever seen. Like the first scene was like literally this guy on stage bombing, and then it was like you know help him get better. Oh my god, are you serious? Yeah, I'll I will, yeah well I gotta look that up. guys know what that show, is. let us know what that is. It was real. I mean, obviously it was really bad. I want to play it. Yeah, so it was no hateful boyfriend. I'll <laughs> tell you that. So here's what I'm I'm most upset about, yeah, and why I, I I'm happy to be on this podcast mm-hmm. is like one of the things I yelled out when I thought that Mortal Kombat was a cooking show, um, was toasted. Yeah. You know, yeah. toasted. Right. And then I think that guy, Dan, overheard me saying that, and he's like, no, no, no. Here's what we got to do. Toasty. But he also did the... He's like, got that voice. The high voice. Yeah. yeah, I didn't do that voice. I was just like, toasted! Like, I was just yelling was stuff. Close, I, yeah, 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 I was yeah. close. I, say, I felt the vibrato there. I, yeah. yeah, I couldn't get the pitch quite where he gets it. Yeah. I mean, that you can't teach that. Can you do it, Calvin? Toasty. That's pretty good. That's not bad. So Here's maybe you'll you replace him because he's, how, he's I, like fifty five. Yeah, right now, and I think he's over it. Here's how high I can get. Toasty. That's it. Wow. wow. That's as high as I can get. That was grim. <laughs> Such a man. <laughs> Toasty. There you go. Oh, that, that was good. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah. So That's I think good. about it and I'm like, I could have been an in, like a huge internet meme now. Yeah. 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 You know. Damn. Well, 
Yeah, I mean, when, when it, it, it's funny because like it doesn't do anything in the game. When yeah. you, but it, when I remember when we used to get that part, like all my friends would be in the arcade, we'd be like, oh, we'd yeah. all like flip out, but it didn't do anything. Yeah. I guess. It's, it's just a fun little yeah. thing. I guess not, but, you know, whatever. I feel like... I feel like I'm I'm below like the guy who used to work for Verizon. You know the Can you hear me now guy? Oh yeah, oh, Macarelli. Yeah. Yeah. And now he's with Sprint. And Sprint and he yeah. just looks like he he gave up. Yeah. You know? And then like when well, I was a million dollars, so yeah. I, say, I mean, I'd yeah. give up for a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> Next he's gonna do Metro PCS. Like just stop. <laughs> <laughs> so you know I don't know. And like here's the thing. Like I get really into these characters. Sure. You know yeah. I know it's just a guy yelling out something like excited and happy, but. Uh, to me, like, there's a whole backstory as to why they feel this oh. way. Oh, what is the backstory? What was your backstory for your toasted guy? Uh, well, he's really hungry. Again, I thought it was a cooking show. Right. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I thought it was a competitive cooking show, yeah. obviously. So Which you now know, are huge. Now they're yeah. huge, but back then nobody was talking about right. this. Mm-hmm. So, like, I should have took toasted and turned it in and pitched it and be like, toasted. It's a competitive cooking yeah. show. Yeah. And whoever loses dies, which would have been the inspiration for Mortal Kombat. Because at that time, I thought every competitive show was just, well, the person just gets killed at the end that loses. And I was yeah. like, well, okay, if that's what we're, how we're doing it. But, um, yeah, my guy was there. He was supposed to be very hungry. He's supposed to be, uh, you know, from a land that, you know, has famine. You know, not... Oh, okay. Yeah. So, and he's now, he's here, and he's watching this cooking show... And he's getting excited because he might eat the food. Right. Oh. But then it was a fighting game. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And so, then I had to change it on the fly. All right. And it's like, what's the backstory for somebody out of like this? Do I just really enjoy fighting? Mm-hmm. Like, am I just all about the moves? You really, uh, you're a real method actor. Yeah. Yeah. Really or, or do I just want to rise above the fighting, and take you know the the uh, what you might call it everyone's focus away from the fighting and on me like whoa look at this guy right. he's yelling out some crazy catchphrases yeah like maybe that's more interesting um than the fighting that's going on and then somebody gets uppercut onto the higher level and i can't keep up with that right like, you <laughs> know get up there. Yeah. yeah what am i actually i'm always curious about that like um did you see like are there like stairs or an escalator so that like you know they can help you get up there, there must or be a the camera answers? on like one of those cranes that moves really fast i guess no uh, some of those uh undead cursed fighters yeah. that they have floating around they actually pick you up and lift you to oh. the next level oh my god yeah that's that fun. sounds kind of scary it is but it's also kind of awesome like you're not going to experience anything else like that yeah. in your life <laughs> At least I hope not. I was seen some shit. Certainly not at these talent shows and rap battles <laughs> I've been kind of hosting. So, but here's the thing now, like, I, at, like, these rap battles, I'm not even a host. Yeah. Like, I'm just, and I'm, like, I'm somewhere between, like, a hype guy and, like, a troll in the audience yelling out stuff. That's uh, how I would describe okay. the yeah. work I do now. You know, this reminds me of, um, this reminds me of, have you ever seen MTV's Yo Mama? When like uh, they, people used to tell yo mama jokes, so my friend did background work and tried to get me to do background work for that. So like your job basically was like whenever someone said a particularly sick burn about someone's mama, you have to go oh, and like that's kind of what that sounds like. Oh <laughs> yeah, um, perhaps you've seen the GIF online of uh, the guy at a, like a rap battle and uh, another yeah. he, when he disses him. <laughs> And he puts his hands on his face and he goes, oh, my God, walks away. I invented that. <laughs> really? Yeah. I invented that in like 1998 yeah. before any of this. Yeah. So what did you use that for? Um, I just for, it was when a cruising world person just wiped out. Like, <laughs> you know, you ever see that when they wipe oh, out, but they, then they're back. The car flew. It's very dangerous. Oh, it's an insanely dangerous game. <laughs> and I would just run across. <laughs> The highway that yeah. they were racing on going, oh, my God, that was so stupid. <laughs> and they were like, it's too many words. It's, it's way too it's distracting. Lot. It's got to be quick, yeah. Yeah. And I was just like, but it's it's my art. And yeah. Nobody yeah. really ever got it. I'm afraid I'm going to go next time I go to the bagel store in the morning. I'm going to be like, everything bagel? Like, How do you want that? I'll just say, toasted. Right? And, the, <laughs> and the store is just going to close down. Yeah. In honor, <laughs> in right on the review. spot. But here's the thing. Like, there's hundreds of people like me out there is there God, yeah it's too much exactly <laughs> who have tried to who either audition for a game like mortal mm-hmm. Kombat to have that you know crazy catchphrase or any of the other video games yeah. and we just can't get work like yeah. so it's we awesome. meet have you thought about instead of like um being the person who like who, you know does like the random yelling and popping in just like doing more of the announcements like you lose or mm. ko 
You know, um, I mean, I know there's not flavor in it, but the there's no flavor in that. Insane. That no. that's a really hard uh, industry to get into. Yeah. It's a completely different industry than oh, really? guy shouting crazy things. Yeah, <laughs> believe it or not, you would think they're very connected. Are, yeah, it's but a they're thing. not. Oh yeah, it's a the whole thing. Guild. And those <laughs> and those guys are really intense. Yeah. Like you can't even talk to them. Like the guy who would say fatality yeah. on Mortal Kombat. Uh, I was like, hey, nice to meet you. And he just put his hand up. Wouldn't let me talk to him. <laughs> wow. Yeah. You and don't then, talk to the hand. Huh? No, you don't. He didn't want to talk. He didn't want you to talk to his hand. Did he have to preserve his voice, though? Or was it just... Well, he was drinking coffee. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't I don't think he was doing his voice too much favors. <laughs> but um, yeah. And then uh, what was the other one? On Tekken, there's a guy... Oh, yeah. Because oh, yeah, I was thinking there was a guy who like, yells, who, great. Yeah, and- great. And kimchi. Wins, whatever it is. <laughs> Not kimchi. I don't remember what game he was. Wow, <laughs> there's definitely a fighting game with a guy called kimchi. <laughs> there a is, and I can't percent. remember. So there yes, there is. There's a, there's a guy named I'm, Kim. I might uh, be thinking of like WCW wrestling. Was he? Was there a WCW guy named? Yeah, kimchi? I think it was a wrestling. That's kimchi, what I'm thinking yeah. of. There definitely, is. but, but the, yeah, they're definitely not. A Are you kidding game. me? Not All those fight. arcade games I have at home. All those there's a guy really Kim. Stereotypical like Hapon, racist Hapon. games. Hapon. From the 80s that didn't give a fuck. Guys, there's, there's definitely I don't... A dude named Kim actually, <laughs> I was so offended by Tekken, my experience with them, that I don't actually remember any of the fighters' yeah. names. I know there was like a bear that oh, yeah, fight Kuma. fought people. There was a fucking bear. Kuma. Yeah, bear. and a tree. There was a tree Root? character. Oh, Mokujin. Whatever. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Doesn't matter. They, yeah. yeah, it's like, here's the sandwich, and it has an Asian name. I don't understand. <laughs> Every fighter in that game. Very weird. They don't know... They, ah, whatever. Very upset. It's hard. So there was a guy. The ninja on the sandwich. Yeah, I get it. It's just a- who would announce, like, blah, 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 wins. Right. And then, you know, blah, blah, blah would be like, yeah, you're on my turf now. Mm. And again, there was nowhere for me to jump in. Like, right. where am I jumping in oh to be like, handsome or just you know, something? <laughs> yeah. Um. So anyway, so the guy who did those announcements, I tried to be his friend mm-hmm. backstage. Wouldn't even make eye contact with me. So petty. And then I was like, can you say something? And then he looked at me and he said, Devin loses. Oh. Wow. What a burn. Rude. So that was kind of a sign to get out of that industry. That's kind of like, it's cool that you you were dissed by that guy, but it's also a little insulting. But who even is that guy? Nobody knows his name. That's like getting dunked on by Shaq. You're like, oh, it's so cool, but it hurts still. I would love to be dunked on by Shaq. Who wouldn't? Oh, man. Cal must be dunked by Shaq. <laughs> and after he dunked on me, I would just go point at myself and say, wasted. Wait, there you go. Exactly. Which they use in Grand Theft Auto, actually. That's well, they correct. don't say oh, it. Oh, do but... they? <laughs> I invented wasted. Oh, well, wow. I don't know about that. I mean, yeah. Well, well you, you know, know maybe. Because, uh, okay, so I was briefly in one of those uh, anime shows. Oh. Mm. Yeah, and there's one where the characters, one of them just levels up too far and just blows up the whole planet. That's literally... Almost oh. every episode. <laughs> <laughs> so I popped up in space after the Earth explodes and just with two thumbs up goes, wasted. And that was it. And that was great. I got paid um, $175 for that. Not so bad. these are all non-union jobs is what it sounds Extremely like. Extremely non-union. We don't have a, a union. Yeah. You know, the talent show host slash rap battle hype guy slash. It's hard to get all those guys together. Pop up in video games. Pop up in video games, blurting out some random cool catchphrase. Yeah. Like, person. Like, we don't have a union. Is it worth it to even unionize? There's only six of you. No, no, no. There's, 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 there's hundreds of us. Sorry, that's right. Okay. I'm actually one of. I, I'm actually more successful than like ninety percent of oh. the guys that I I, I, I associate with. Who, who, who else are some of your colleagues that have made it? Do Nobody you, know? you would know. Okay. None of them have actually made it. Oh. We, uh, you know, we, we go out like hunting once a once a week. Like for real hunting. <laughs> Who are you for, hunting? <laughs> like for food? Oh, and oh, okay. jobs. <laughs> Wait. Like in garbage, like dumpster diving, or you actually go to the woods to shoot like deer or something. Well, we're city based, <laughs> so yeah, mostly uh, just alleys, oh, sewers. Geez, that's not, wow. that's not hunting. Like, is it like Final Fight? Like, are you finding like chocolate in the garbage or like chocolate, uh, <laughs> half-eaten sandwiches? His eyes lit up. Like, where do you find I that? Know. You, got, you got excited for that. Go to Metro City. They have. Yeah, I can't wait. Go to, by the docks. I can't wait to tell the guy. You know, this sounds like a really good video game or reality TV show pitch. Like, where are they now? 
the pop-up video game guys. But I, the problem is that you'd have to know where they were in the first place, and it sounds like they were nowhere. Yeah, and that's what we're trying to do. We are trying to shed light on everybody. That's yeah, which, why, which is why we got you. Some yeah. of us were popping up in video games throughout the years. Like, uh, you know who's one person that hangs around with us? Tell us. Oh. Um, you know the uh, the fairy that kind of follows around Link? In, Navi? Uh, the oh, Navi, yes. Yeah, in the Ocarina of Time? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, she hangs out with well, us. Well, Navi was on the, our podcast yeah. once. Yeah, she oh, did, she was? She yeah. didn't know you. No. She didn't mention you. Why would I have been brought up? Yeah, oh, well, she was doing well probably at that point. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. But in the last, uh, what was it, like a year or two ago? Yeah. Two years yeah. ago. Yeah. Oh, two years. Yeah, she's gone to hell since oh. then. <laughs> wow. Damn. So she hangs out with us, and it's always just like over our shoulders, like, over there, food. Mm. And then, <laughs> and you know, she helps find us food, and it's great. Uh, nice. I wish she could help find us jobs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> like maybe she could call her old, old friend Link, and you know we could all follow Link around Link yeah, and be much. different guides. He doesn't talk, no, about, he you know, talk at all. like oh Ganondorf, yeah. please like, watch Look, a- benefits. Like you can do that, health benefits, yeah. unionize. <laughs> <laughs> we will organize. We will fight back yeah. against the video game announcers union, Mm-mm-mm. which is huge and powerful and can just literally wipe you off the map yeah, if I mean, you wrong them. I and mean, we hope you can make it. I mean, it's, it's, you, you seem a li- you seem look. You've got a couple things going on, but you, d- you do seem a little down. That you know, it's been it's, it's been rough. I guess trying to like seeing other people's oh. success that you've tried to get. It, yeah, it's I've been, been, been a, there, it's know? been a nightmare. But honestly, I love the game. Yeah, and I love the games. Okay. Which is which, which is what's going to keep me coming back, you know. I, I, they haven't been answering my calls recently, but this the, might help. The, yeah, this yeah. will help. I'm getting my my story out, and second of all, the video game industry very volatile, a lot of turnover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, what's his face over at uh, Nintendo or Rockstar Games mm. may be blocking me now, but in five years when there's a, some sort of scandal and he's gone, there you go. Boom, I'm back in. Yeah. Hey, hey. You need a it's new. It's Devon uh, time. It's yeah. Devon time. Oh, there's a new catchphrase for you. Yeah, exactly. It's Devon time. Mortal Kombat 12. I'm popping up. Somebody lays an uppercut. It's Devon time. I. Yes. The, the weirder and more random, the better. I think. Oh I, yeah, totally. That That'll be great. Also, if you can literally pop up with two thumbs up like you just did, that would be even yes. better. Yes, yes, two thumbs make, up. It would make no sense, and it would be awesome. Just like mom used to make. <laughs> Why not? When I thought it was a cooking show. That would actually be a good one for Mortal Kombat, to be honest. That could, exactly. Yeah. Toasty? What does that even mean? Exactly. What, what does it even mean? Nobody even goes on fire in that game, dude. Toasty would well, be good. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, whatever. He would, like, he would like people. I really think the problem is you didn't do enough research. Yeah. Because you're... Yeah. But, I mean, it's I, fine. Again, no my agent didn't tell me what I was getting into. Right. Yeah. Um, you know, and I was I was really not expecting, like, the amount of uh, murder yeah, that happened in right the game. In your, right in front of your face. Yeah, yeah I, I'm used to like fighting games like Street Fighter. Yeah. Like they just one get roundhouse kick, get bruised, yeah, get, knocked get knocked out, get, knocked out, out, get yeah, electrocuted, mm-hmm. and you, you know, okay, see you at the next fight. Mortal right. Kombat's like, nope, yeah. yeah, you're done. Yeah, we've had a few of them on over the past. They're 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 tough. Yeah, they're who tough who have you spoken to? Jax, Katana, Molina. Oh wow, yeah, those they're, are man, they're, they're tough. They were very supportive. That's good. When, That's uh, good. when they were throwing me out of the audition. <laughs> <laughs> um, we got to go. So do you, yes. Do want to play a quick game of those before we... Uh... I think Jax actually said, hey, man, you did your thing. And I'll never forget that. Oh, it's nice. Oh, yeah. So he uses catchphrase on you. Yeah. You did your thing. Is that his catchphrase? Yeah, now it is I now. mean, I feel like it is. It should okay. Be. Yeah, yeah, let's play this game. Let's play a game of Wed <laughs> Bed Dead, everybody. Yay. So we're going to play a game of Wed Bed Dead. Uh, Devin, tell, I'm going to give you three... Video game characters tell us who you want to wed, who you want to bed, and who you want dead. Oh man! Uh, this first one. Talk about toasty. <laughs> <laughs> Calvin, tell me who the fuck this guy is. Squall Lionheart. Squall Leonheart. Yes, uh, he is the hero from Final Fantasy VIII. How do you know which Final Fantasy? Wow, that's so impressive. Well, it's also on the screen, but I also remember this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How'd you know V? Dead. I, I, I want I him dead fast. So, <laughs> so tells me he looks. So, like yeah, uh, so he's the main hero. He has a gun blade, which is oh, exactly as it sounds. Perfect. <laughs> Literally a blade awesome. that you can cut and shoot with. Um, his he uh, is a soldier. If you're into that sort of thing, so he's very he's quiet but disciplined. So he's a troop. Yes. What's the name? Squall. Squall. Uh, well, <laughs> it's supposed to be a wind metaphor. We don't have time to get yeah. into it. The point is, he's 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 sullen like most Final Fantasy heroes, but he has a good heart. I also auditioned for a Final Fantasy game. Oh, yeah, really? where I popped up after somebody. 
you know, finish his mission, I was like, and that was the final fantasy. <laughs> didn't, didn't work, huh? Did not work because they informed me that it was not. Yeah. <laughs> so. All right, this next one, I don't know if you're going to know, from Fire Emblem, right? Lucina? She, uh, she's in Smash no, Bros. I do not know oh, her. Oh, Smash Bros. Uh, so, uh, I know her. She probably seems, I'm getting a sense that she's broody and she's an orphan. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, Does prop, she too have a sword? She was introduced in the 13th installment. Jesus Christ, so many. Yeah, of those. there's a lot. She's it's one of the main characters. She's a distant descendant of Marth. Okay. Uh, who I do. Oh, like, I do know. I do like Marth. Uh, yeah, she she she's a princess of the Yis- Lissy Kingdom. I think I'm gonna bet her. Uh, <laughs> hold on. So she's she's royal. That's not a sexual thing, right? It, it, it oh is. yeah, it is. Oh. It is, yeah. Um, then that's not just a catchphrase. She has a power. <laughs> and it's it's located in the iris of her left eye. Oh, I thought that was going to go in a different place. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool, though. <laughs> she's um, uh, she's a time traveler. Oh, okay. Oh, definitely that. Oh, definitely wedding then. So, so, so yeah. she's cool. She's got she's got a red cape. She's got a big sword. She's got some boots. Blue hair. Is that okay. blue or black hair? I guess. Yeah, they're all the same. How blue. far <laughs> forward and backwards into time can she travel? It doesn't say, but maybe whenever she wants. <sighs> Um, <laughs> what does that matter? Because well, some of these people can go way into the future and way into the past, and other people can be like, yeah, only like five, ten years either way. <laughs> so, like, what's what's even the point then? That's a good. That does <laughs> make sense, kind of. Yeah. Do I want to go back to when I was using? Yeah, I'm really, really I... specific when it comes to my time travel rules. No, that's fair. I respect that. Yeah. It's five years ago, and then that's all VH1. You know, best week ever, and you don't want to go back to that. No. Oh, geez, too, this is that too Days far. are behind us. <laughs> um, and then this next guy, uh, who we uh, we did have on the podcast, a skinny ice hockey player. Remember oh, him? Yes. He was wow. so nice. Yes. From the original Nintendo series, uh, ice hockey is a skinny ice hockey player. Um, uh, that's literally the only description we can give. Because that looks like Daredevil <laughs> as a hockey player. He does got it. So there's, there's a skinny, medium, and fat player. He's yes. uh, he's just a skinny one. He's fast. Keep that in mind. Mm-mm. But he, but he's very uh, he's very weak. Yes, hmm. yeah, he gets he, he gets pushed around a lot. Well, I know he's getting dead. So well, hold on. So uh, uh, Devin, you can go first. Wed bed dead. Squall Leonhardt, Lucina, or skinny ice hockey player. What what are your choices? Wasted. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the 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 hockey guy. Wait, really? Get, get him out of here already. Uh, How come? Take him down. Yeah. Looks yeah. useless. I have no. You. What am I gonna do with that? <sighs> it's a good point. I yeah. yeah. Um. I I guess. Not a hockey fan. I'm a hockey fan, but that just is, is offensive, whatever I just saw. Yes. So, As Monique would say. Also, what is that? Is that 8-bit? Yeah, 8-bit. It's 8-bit. Yeah, I don't mess with 8-bit It's It's many sharp edges anymore. I used to. But you used to? Who would you use to date? Uh, I went down on some of the Minecraft people. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... Do you mean, like, and, third base, like, went down on them like that? Oh, no, I, I mean... However you want to interpret that. That's how I interpret it. Then okay. I mean, I'm scared to figure out what that means, but okay. Hey, do you. It's so, a uh, thank you <laughs> for believing in my lifestyle. <laughs> so, and then I'm going to bed um, the time travel chick. Lucina. Yeah. Or Lucina. Because I, yeah. I would like to marry her, but she seems like with the time travel thing, she's going to be hard to keep track of. Oh, okay. You Good know? Point. Yeah. And then I'm gonna wed the uh, the Final Fantasy squall, huh? dude, because oh. they're all kind of asexual anyway. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's fair. Or <laughs> they're all sad, aren't they? Yeah, they're all sad. Squall is definitely sad. And uh, you know, it's just it seems like he'll he'll be good to have around the house. Yeah, you know, if we're ever attacked by like the announcers <laughs> union yes. when they f- hear this podcast, of course. like I got protection. Are we yeah. in trouble now? You might be. Oh, just don't oh, use your real name. She'll be fine. We're too late. Uh, yeah. Forget it. All You're right. already on the list. All right. I'm gonna. All right. I'm all up, and I'm gonna go next. <laughs> uh, um, all right. So I'm going to. I'm gonna wed Lucina right off the bat here. Mm-hmm. That time traveling is so tempting. That's awesome. I think. Um, I don't know what where I'd go first. That's the fun part. Like we have to. Yeah. I don't know. It'd be really, I want to see a dinosaur. I just want to see a fucking dinosaur. Mm-hmm. Is that so wrong? No. Actually, no. I'm into that. <laughs> I right. prefer that versus like any time between. Uh, 1400 and now yeah you've had a rough go yeah yeah i hear you we'd have to go way back yeah um so i'll wed her um poof <laughs> these next ones are rough though but i think uh, poor ice hockey I'm, I'm gonna dead ice hockey player too i think Aww. in this situation i don't want to bet him he's just for, again we've had this before because ice hockey players stink 
Yeah. Very Ghosted. St- very stinky. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'll we- I'll-, I'll bed Squall because again, a little a little feminine. Uh, it it, it, would, it would make it easier for me for my first time, right? Not 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 against it. And I think it'd just be uh, and he got a cool sword. That, that gunblade thing. Yeah, I mean, honestly, awesome. the gunblade is really awesome. Yeah, I, I'm, I was debating whether I should wet him just because of that. Yeah. But I don't want to get in trouble with that. I think I would. I would uh, never put it down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You'd be like, that's like a five year old with a loaded gun yeah. in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so, uh, and I'll bet him once, and I will, he'll let me, he'll he'll let me touch it. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> the gunblade. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> you think they'd hire me for one of the Ghost Recon games Why not? with that catchphrase? Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. Just be like, Ghosted. Hey, are there actual ghosts in that game? No. No. It's is just there, like a term. Uh, it's a term. It's like a spy term. Yeah. Well, I'll try anyway. Like a soldier. Term. I'll submit a demo tape. Do it. You know, you can take parts of this podcast. Use that as your demo tape. Thank you. No, of course. No problem. All right. That's Calvin. what I'm here for. Hosted. <laughs> Calvin, who you're. Uh, you know, I guess we're going to be in agreement this time. Ooh. I would wed Lucina. For the first time ever? Yes. <laughs> I'd wed Lucina because, I yeah, I mean, time travel is really, really interesting. And yeah. I feel like, you know, we can go backwards. I can go forwards. In time. I mean, I want to go forwards in time and see if racism actually ends. That would be nice. Um, would you want it to be, would you want white people to be, uh, you know, like, you want it to be reversed? Like, do we deserve this to, to be, or do you want no, to No, that's literally the point of racism ending. <laughs> That yeah, no one's discriminating against. No, right, so you don't want white people to get, get what's coming to them. No, I mean, well, I, maybe I'll try. I like California. that your idea is like, but what if it just reversed? Yeah, <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I think we deserve like at least twenty years. I mean, I've twenty of, years is a very at least I've come up. And that's s- a very small. I mean, no. All right, like. six hours. Six yeah. hours. <laughs> <laughs> we can't give you everything back, but I think you know. I mean, it would need to be at least like four hundred to six hundred years. But oh, no, sure. that's not the point. I mean, no, I want to travel forward to like maybe like okay, racism's over, or maybe like you know we have bigger problems. Like it'd be funny if you put in like to the time machine, take me to when racism's over, and the machine just explodes. Yeah, because <laughs> it never ended. Or she's like, oh, do you want to go to when the sun goes super giant? Great. <laughs> right. A time when race doesn't matter. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> because there are no more races <laughs> or particles. Um, no, well, but and also I want to go back in time. Like it'd be cool to like you know go see like the pyramids like you know back in the day or like you know or even like you know it would be really cool to like you see pyramids now yeah but they're they're weathered with age i want to see the sphinx with the, its original nose okay. you know sure i i it's so sad i want to like sight see and be like i was such a nerd like i just want to like actually see no, the yeah, things it makes sense and uh, plus you know i feel like she'd be a great traveling partner she's a power in her iris i machu mean that's picchu. good want to see machu picchu when it's brand new yeah wouldn't you want to see that yeah i want to see it now too Brand new right. beach. I'm a, a sphinx uh, absolutionist, so yeah. <laughs> or absolutist. Is what? that the term? Either one. I think Absolutely. Both are... <laughs> a good catchphrase. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, yeah, wet her, All bed right. squall. Yep. Because, you know, I mean, even though he's like, you know, a little broody, like I feel like, you know, broody types, you know, they tend to get like very, you know, into you in bed and like yeah. I'm sure he seems like he'll pay attention to my needs. All right. Um, and then you know the gunblade also very cool. I would also definitely like to be like, yeah. let me just shoot it. Once. Let me just fuck around. Let's see. Go sit down, squall. Yeah. Let me play with this thing. Exactly. And I, dead the skinny ice hockey player because I mean again he's frail and he's fast. No, nothing good can come out of that. Mm. No. That's like, kind of like you. Are you fast? Yeah, well I'm pretty fast. <laughs> and I'm frail, but you know I try. I'm scrappy. <laughs> okay. He doesn't seem scrappy. All right. Um, we have Boasted. time. For, we have time. For some, we have time for some Mad Libs, I think, too. Yes, we do. Uh, last week's got a little long, so we're gonna. I, I got a little shorter this time. Yes, we have some Mad Libs here, Devin. So mm. I'll give you, give you like adjective, noun, and you tell me anything that comes into your mind. Wow. Or you could do what our last guest did and look all around the room <laughs> and just use that. <laughs> whatever, yes. whatever comes into your mind. So we uh, we'll go start here. Plural noun. Horses. Nice. Uh, uh, oh yeah. No. No what? Oh, in here. No. That's a uh, dinosaur. Yeah, that's why I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Adjective. Melted. Nice. Uh, um, <laughs> that's a good catchphrase. Oh, yeah, especially for Mortal Kombat. Melted. Yeah. Got to get deeper with that one. Noun. Melted. Say noun? Noun. Uh, <laughs> toilet. Okay. <laughs> Body part. Neck. All right. Uh, noun. 1978 Ford Camaro. <laughs> <laughs> Not even sure that's a real car, but who cares? Well, it is now because this is official. Yes. Um, 
Uh, past ver- uh, verb ending in ed. Oh, uh, like a past verb. Roasted. There you oh, go. Nice. I was just saying, I was like, that's the easiest one. Yeah. <laughs> that was uh, a setup. You just really wanted me to say that again. No, that, that was great. Uh, occupation. Dentist. Verb ending in ing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fermenting. And same thing. One more. <laughs> one more ing verb. Wow. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, Think of something good. Think of yeah, something good. Got it. Boasting. Oh. Boasting? With, what was it, B? Yeah. Okay. B as in Brian. Yeah. <laughs> so this is from the manual of one of the best Genesis games, the Streets of Rage. Oh. Yes. Or is this now known, the Horses of Rage. Oh. Said, so what was once a melted, peaceful, productive toilet full of <laughs> life and activity <laughs> has fallen into the neck of a secret criminal syndicate. Ooh. The 1978 Ford Camaro syndicate has somehow <laughs> managed to keep his identity a secret. The evilest syndicate of all. The organization soon roasted the city government. <laughs> Who roasted? Roasted. <laughs> Anyone can be had if the price is right. They even have the Metropolitan Dentist Force in their back pocket. <laughs> Fermenting, random violence, and destruction are rampant. No one is safe boasting the streets, day or night. <laughs> streets of rage, everybody. Horses of rage. Horses of rage, everybody. <laughs> that streets. was a good one. Yeah, I love that. that. Was a great rage. One. <laughs> streets. <laughs> Really, I did audition to be a background singer <laughs> on Streets of Rage, but tell. then they said there was no verbal yeah. Uh, yeah. song. So the fourth is coming out soon. Is that actually happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that uh so are, is that the one where Too many streets, too much rage. <laughs> streets Street of Rage four. Streetier and ragier. <laughs> and uvier. Yes. <laughs> uh, guys, uh, just send us in your mad libs. I want to see what you got as you're uh, you know going through this. Yes. It'd be fun to to, to, to compare. Um, and thank you so much, Devin. Yeah, Devin, this is uh, again. We love hearing these stories of you know people who don't know. Hey, do you guys need like a, a pop up guy to say random words on this show? You know what? Actually, you know what? well, how about this? Since you close it out, why don't you close it out? Close it out. Yes. Well, first okay. we have to say our thing. So. Right, everybody. Thank you so much. We will see you next, next week. week. And you just got played. Today's playable character is portrayed by comedian Joe Pontillo. Follow his comedic exploits at www.joepontillo.com, and that's Pontillo with two L's. Or you can follow him on Instagram, Pontillogram. 